good afternoon. This is Hal Nox T wishing you a very pleasant afternoon and uh, so glad to have you here this afternoon and I hope this finds you all in fine fettle. And of course the news of the week has to be uh, the Queen passing away at the age of 96 and um, yes, for my generation who grew up with the Queen, um, Wow, she was a kind of everlasting presence. Uh, she was on all money, on all postage stamps. Uh, you couldn't turn around without seeing some image of the Queen or hearing some story of the royal family. And, um, you know, in recent years, the family seems to have fallen apart and uh, a lot of things have certainly been exposed about uh, some of the, the children of the royal family. And I guess as we are all becoming more historically aware, you know, just exactly how um, the royals do work work but I will say of the Queen that she she kept she kept up the appearance uh, you know that she stayed away from scandal um, she chaired many 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 charities she traveled the world um, she acted as a liaison and a go-between uh, during you know some uh, difficult times um, you know the soft diplomacy this kind of t this kind of thing so uh, you know goodness knows goodness knows where this is all going to go from here. Uh, Prince Charles, of course, is now King Charles. Uh, now, this is the chap uh, who said that he, if he was reincarnated, would like to come back as a tampon. Um, strange request, but there you go. Uh, he is also a spokesperson for the World Economic Forum and uh, there are several speeches if you look them up where he's presented at the WF and Davos and he's basically uh, he's you know supported and proposed the green agenda the great reset whatever you want to call it um, and that uh, yeah so you have a person now firmly in place in a very um, a powerful symbolic position to push that agenda forward. Now, the other thing that we have to talk about too with Prince Charles, or King Charles, sorry now, um, is his connections, like his brother, Prince Andrew, uh, to Jeffrey Epstein and Jimmy Savile. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein, of course, is a convicted pedo, and uh, Jimmy Savile, well, Go read about Jimmy Savile and the things that he got up to. And, you know, this is no passing friendship. You know, um, Prince Charles went to school with Jimmy Savile and he also wanted him to be the godfather of his children. Uh, that's a pretty big step. You know, that's a, that's a pretty close relationship. When you want someone to be the godfather of your children, um, wow. So how is that going to affect the whole situation good lord alone knows and so this is a bit of a dark side to uh, this man's character uh, even to have those kind of connections and associations and close ties so as i say how this will affect the decision making process or maybe it just ensures that he is compromised by past sins shall we say and also Liz Truss, uh, she was elected to be the new Prime Minister of England and of course she is a Davos girl, she's a WEF um, uh, a gal, she went to the Young Leaders training course. So now you have King Charles, Liz Truss, Macron uh, from France, you have Justin Trudeau, you have Bolsonaro um, and it certainly seems that an awful lot, I don't know how, how many of these people have been touched by the WEF, but certainly there are a serious number of leaders in the world right now who fall under that ilk. And uh, again, goodness knows what's going to happen with uh, Liz Trust. I mean, she is all on board for sending more weapons to Ukraine and escalating the situation with Russia rather than using diplomacy intact in a situation which should be apparent to anyone. Nobody's going to win. OK, NATO cannot fight Russia on Russia's border through Ukraine. I understand that many of the weapons that have been sent over to the Ukraine from different countries, high tech stuff, has all been uh, stolen and sent across the border to Russia and sold on the black market. So it's just going to be a pig's breakfast. So anyone who can't see that escalating this war uh, is not going to work. It's a very, very dangerous situation. And at some point, 
it has to be de-escalated. And these are the people who are not going to de-escalate. They want to have more trouble in Ukraine and Russia, not less. And I found it kind of interesting that, the, the, that apparently Russia and Ukraine were in negotiations in April for a peace treaty. And all Russia wanted was uh, the Donbass region, Crimea, and uh, that the Ukraine not join NATO. They didn't say they couldn't be supported by NATO, just you can't join NATO. That was thrown away. All diplomacy has gone out of the window. And uh, you can see that this is going to lead to a very, very, very dark winter uh, by the last couple of videos that I've made on the, the impact of inflation and energy inflation. So, as we say cheerio to the Queen, I know many of you, as I say, have, have di divergent views on the royal family. Uh, the Queen definitely stood out. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe below. And in the meantime, this is Houndog Steve signing off, wishing you a very pleasant afternoon, and we'll talk very, very shortly. You take care now. See ya. Bye.